Hello, we're back here with Carl again, the Singer 431G convertible. And what I'm going to do right away is get to uh, undo this screw here. This screw allows the whole needle thread tension device to come off entirely, which is what I want. So, so I have a couple of screwdrivers here and I hope all are as well with everybody. Let's see how hard it is to uncrack this one. Oh, there's a little crunch, a little, but it's loose now. It's really coming free actually. So we're gonna get this off and then we're gonna go down below and have some adventures down there. And there's another screw. Okay, so that, you know what? That is nicely. Maybe it's wet just from me soaking it. Because it is, it is gunky. So I have one more screw on the front here. There you can see now. I wonder how much you missed from the first part. Okay. So there we have it. The whole Now that pin there on my thumb that my thumb is touching. It's there's a little bit of gunk or dried varnish there or whatever. But anyway, and they're also, what came off there was there, there's the screw. So, I will take all that and put it in there. And put it down there. So I don't need anything else out of there. That screw is safe. Now we can go, well, first of all, I am going to, do some top work here. Oh, that came over quite, that came off quite handily. Is it gonna come off? It did. That goes in there too. There's our bobbin with thread. That goes in there too. Now we're going to have to get a little more technical again. Oopsie daisy. And I'm going to need my little screwdriver racks, if I do believe. So I will bring that out. And we're going to get the feed dogs off. Are we going to get the feed dogs off? We're going to take the needle out. I take out the needle. I have another place that, well, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, what am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna put it right in there as well. The needle, take the uh, the foot off. How am I doing so far? Are you guys having fun yet? You know what, we're gonna take the screw out of there too. And then we'll, well, we'll get back. I'm gonna remove that, but not right now. I know you guys got more important things for me to do. What we're going to do now is we are going to move the positioning pin adjustment. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called or not. This one might be screwed in. I may not be getting in here as quickly or easily as I think. This one is different. So, obviously I've hit a... Oops, I hit a wall <laughs> with the sewing machine. <laughs> and uh, let me get the bottom off. We know we had it off the other day, so it's not too difficult to, I don't have to crack these screws. And we already know, we 
we already know that there's only one screw to hold that on. And it goes right there. Indeed he did. It goes right there. So. This sewing machine has one, two, three, four. Well, it has one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why did I think it had five bed cushions? Why did I think that? One, two, three, four. No, it just has four. Cool. Okay. Let's see if we can line that up. Like that. Like that. We'll line it up like that. We'll line it up like that. And now we're going to look. What that does, that screw allows the throat plate cover, but these, oh, it does work like that. Excellent. Just as I was hoping. You guys are gonna like this. So, That is the hook right there. And when it gets to, when it gets to, sorry, I don't have a hand wheel on here. When it gets to right there, it throws the thread off. The, the thread is loose and it's starting to tighten and it goes right up in there and it goes over to to here and it meets up with the bobbin thread and then they do their lock stitch and then this hook comes over to here going that way and when the needle is down that hook doesn't get there until that needle is furthest down and it's punctured everything and there's looseness in the thread and when that hook comes by it hoops the thread and then it comes over here and tosses it off. This distance here is about 1 16th of an inch or slightly less. So, and the way to get this, and what this does is it guides the, it catches the thread. It really guides the thread. The thread slips in between the bobbin case and, excuse me, and besides doing the thread thing, the second principal purpose for this is to keep the bobbin case in position. So it does, so this helps this throw it to this. So it's, it's superb engineering. So the way to do that, see there's a lip here, so you don't have to touch that spring part or whatever you want to call that. So you just take that lip and you push it in and raise it up and then you, as you pull it forward, you pull it out and out it flies. And there it is. Whoops, where did I lose my, geez, how much did I lose this time? Anyway, that's, my focus seems to be a little out of whack. 
There we are. So that's the positioning pin. Tension spring, I forget what, but it goes in the bag too. So now we can take out our bobbin case. And we see there's some grime on there, right? All down there. And there is like old dust down, down here. So yeah, this thing needs to be cleaned. Here is the positioning pin. Here is the feed dogs. And I'm used to having a, a screw here and a screw here and taking it off that way. But I think there's a screw underneath, underneath here on the other side. So we'll go back down there again. We're 12 minutes in. The other thing that I'm going to do, just so you know, if I don't show you, I'm going to take all these feet off. The feet are new, but the screws are rusted, and I have the, the must for rust back there. Let me see what I've got here that I can... Okay, that's for the positioning spring we just took off. That we never touch. That we never touch. That's for the... Let me raise this thing here a little bit. Okay, so that there is the positioning spring, is the spring for the positioning pin that we just slid out. There's the, the gears. That spring, that screw there is for the hook bushing. We never touch that screw. If we touch that screw, you gotta basically send it to a repairman who really knows how to do it. But this is for our positioning pin. We're gonna undo that. And we're gonna undo this screw on here. Um, so, but I still have to figure out I don't see anything for the feed dogs. And that screw is just an adjuster for for something else. So, so where is it anchored? Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to be making another video today, washing the, uh, cleaning the electric motor. And so that will either be posted later this evening or uh, early, early tomorrow, like 4.30 in the morning. It'll be done today. And then I'll be moving along on uh, another one. I have some other 411 cam stacks and uh, a motor already. It's all in the kitchen. It's all ready to go. I'm going to do two or two or three of them in a row. Anyway, um, like and subscribe. Uh, press the notification bell. And uh, I'm new here. I hope there's some newbies here. And uh, I've got a minimalist bent to all this. And I hope this works for you. I hope that you do come back. Have a great, fun, safe day. Ciao, amigos.